Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vagam Ranian covering the DSCI show here at the Excel Center in London. Our coverage here is in partnership with DSCI and Clarion Events. And we have with us uh, a retired Royal Navy Commodore Alistair uh, Halliday, uh, who is the Director of Training uh, as well as Defense Relations uh, over at SSVC. Uh, and, uh, you know, fascinating company, a charity actually, I should, I should, uh, I should make clear. And uh, you're fresh from your 40th anniversary reunion from Dartmouth, indeed, uh, indeed. where you predate uh, your service by three months, right? You're, you, you, you were in the Navy three months before Phil Jones, who is uh, now yeah. first sea lord. He was a good, good friend of mine. I know him for, known him for many years. Yeah, it, it's wonderful to be here. It's lovely, especially after 40 years anniversary, but fantastic to be at DSCI. Always love coming here, and I've done, I think, every show for the last 10 years. And now we're here with SSVC, Services Sound and Vision Corporation, right. uh, which is the charity which runs media services for the armed forces and families around the world. Um, and, and what you guys have is um, a fascinating approach to this, which is the technological piece to be able to get high bandwidth into the hands of soldiers, sailors, and airmen. So talk to us a little bit about that technology, and the reason that's so important is you're building that into a training curriculum. Because we were aboard HMS Argyle, uh, had a uh, conversation with uh, commanding officer Toby uh, Shaughnessy, um, and we was talking about, you know, peer side, we do have that high bandwidth connectivity. Yeah. When we get underway, streaming video and yeah. stuff like that become a challenge. Yeah. Talk to us about how you're able to push high bandwidth into the hands of troops, which, which they crave just about as much as they do food. Of course, I mean actually this is follows on from many years worth of delivering media uh, out to the armed forces both at sea and on land right, right the way around the world. And we've done that with videos through satellites etc. So what the latest uh, very exciting uh, development is a device called MyPlayer which uses our own satellites uh, which go through to, you know, all around, around the world and can deliver it then effectively to whether it's a deployed difficult locations who don't have internet or access to the internet. So might, maybe some forward operating bases or also very importantly to the Royal Navy um, which has never really had this in the in the past we've managed to beam um, pictures and, and videos and sort of 16 TV channels out to ships now it means we can deliver more which includes yeah, training packages the newspapers uh, I mean, even sort of tele telephone sort of services as well and really increase the servicemen and women's ability to get on the internet and perhaps communicate with people at home um, which is uh, the last nail in the print media's coffin because at least folks were like, well, at least aboard ships, they don't have that connectivity, so everybody's still waiting for the yeah. magazine or, or yeah. a newspaper to show up. Um, talk to us a little bit, though, about how you're fitting this in with your training approach. Yeah. Um, because, you know, we were talking just before we, we started taping, you know, if you have anything to fix, you go to YouTube to try to find that video, even if it's something pretty obscure. Yeah. Yeah. You know that there's probably another human being on a camera, uh, you know, in the world that that set up their mobile phone in order to be able to tape it. Talk to us about how um, the kind of training uh, things you want to try to, to achieve with, with this technology. Sure, I mean, we've actually had training, uh, SSVC with BFBS, British Forces Broadcasting Services, have been making training videos for many, many years, and we used to, it used to be a major piece of work. Uh, more recently, we've now developed our own sort of training, uh, media training, digital training for members of the armed forces and perhaps some civil servants who are doing media stuff. Um, but now we can then use that and actually transform and transmit the, the, some of these training packages through the satellite out to uh, an augment with service training, whether it's Navy or Army or Air Force training needs, out to the, uh, to the front line. Um, perhaps minimizing um, some of the other um, communications challenges which used to exist and certainly keeping it up to date as well. And uh, um, we should also say that you're the repository of some of the coolest training films ever made. Uh, if, if Seriously, if anybody is a defense junkie, go and find British training films. They are absolutely amazing. Very. And actually, you could watch them today and still learn quite a lot from them. So you guys are the repository of that. We, we've run what's called the British Defence Film Library for many years, uh, which actually holds all of the uh, training videos since the 50s. One's older than that are in the Imperial War Museum. So it does have a, a load of gr very funny films, like diving films or a, a carrier strike from 1960, showing sea vixens and this sort of thing. And actually, they have great historical importance even today. And some can still be used for training, some elements. Well, there was also Tiffy the Artificer, wasn't there, or something like like that? Yeah. Arti Artificer, that's Artificer. right. Artificer, yeah. That, very uh, important guy. A very important guy. I mean, the whole thing just comes to a, a crashing halt uh, without it. But you guys are a charity, so, so talk to us, you know, from an American perspective, it, but it, it very commonplace in the UK yeah. for certain of these yeah. applications where um, it's decided that there shouldn't be a financial motive. Yeah. So tell us how that works sure. um, as, as, as a charity and how you work in, in, in the ecosystem, how fundraising yeah. works. 
Walk us through that because I think that's absolutely fascinating. It is. It is an interesting thing because I was in the, the Navy for 33 years and I knew a bit about BFBS, British Forces Broadcasting Service, but not entire, everything about it. And, and in full disclosure, you were the head of PR for uh, the Joint Forces. So. As yeah. somebody who knew a thing or two about communicating. Defense, it was, I was director of Defense Public Relations for three years, right. so it was a very a fun time. But uh, we actually go back to 1943, uh, the origins in World War II, when uh, a couple of army officers thought we need to do more to entertain the troops and for morale. And so we start off with radio in the desert, uh, as well as cinemas and the shows, you know, the shows which you see in the, in the you know, in programs about World War II. And we've kept that going all ever since. So. A cha the charity, we became a, ch a charity about 30 years ago, um, so very much not for profit. Uh, we run some contracts for the Ministry of Defence, so BFBS, which many people know us, British Forces Broadcasting Service, uh, that we still operate that, 22 radio stations around the world, about eight overseas, uh, about 12 in UK, uh, as well as BFBS TV. So every day, men and women of the armed forces and their families are watching uh, and listening to our, our products and around, around UK as well. But more recently, we've augmented digital. Uh, we've got very big on digital. In fact, Adam Waters, who's our digital guru, uh, is here actually. At, SSV, uh, at DSCI this time, uh, providing a lot of high-level social media advice for the services and actually government departments. So it's a very exciting time. We've been very much uh, using our you know, armed forces, uh, professional media uh, people who understand the armed force, we're security cleared, so we're perhaps in a space of trusted media and we're very happy to help. Sir, thanks very much for the time. We appreciate it. Best of luck and tremendous capability uh, that I'm sure is going to be uh, much greatly appreciated by everybody uh, who's deployed. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. Thanks, Wagon.